solving inequalities using boundary testing. So we talked about how this inequality is related to the equation. So we can use that equation to help us solve that inequality. So the inequality 2x minus 5 is less than 5x plus 3 is related to this equation 2x minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 3. That's going to give us our boundary. Now we know by looking at our inequality that the boundary is actually not going to be included and that's because we don't have the or equal sign in our inequality. So this or equal to part is just going to give us the boundary, but it's not going to be part of the solution of this inequality. So we can go ahead and solve this, this equation and we can get our boundary point. So subtract 2x from both sides, the subtraction property of equality, and so then we have over here, we have just negative 5 is equal to 3x my, uh, plus 3. And so then we can subtract 3 from both sides, subtraction property of equality. And so we have here, negative 8 is equal to 3x. Dividing both sides by 3, we get what 1x is. So we have 1x is equal to negative 8 thirds. Negative 8 thirds is our boundary point, but not included in the solution to the inequality. So we can use that boundary point then to go ahead and graph our inequality. So here we have our inequality. This is the equation. We found that the boundary point was x equals negative 8 thirds. So we're going to go ahead and plot that on our um, number line. And so negative 8 thirds is negative 2 and 2 thirds. So we're going to go ahead and put an open circle, an open dot here. And that indicates that it's not included in the solution, but it's infinitely close to the negative 8 thirds. And now we can go ahead and test to see which side of that number line makes this inequality true. So we want to test a point to the left. So this number line is divided in two by this boundary point. We want to test to the left of the boundary point and also to the right to just kind of double check which side. So we want to test any point to the left will work. I chose a negative 10, it's easier to multiply, and substituting it into the original inequality. So taking a look at this inequality, I'm going to substitute in a negative 10 for x. So substituting a negative 10, I go ahead and do my addition here. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20, minus 5 is less than negative 50 plus 3. And so I have negative 25 is less than negative 47. Negative 47 is more negative, so this is not true. So I know this side is not going to be part of the solution. Now I want to test a point to the right side on the number line. And you can choose any of these points in here to test. I chose 0. It's easy to multiply. So 2 times 0, substituting into the original inequality. 2 times 0 uh, minus 5 is negative 5. 5 times 0 plus 3 is 3. And I found this is true. And I expected that, but I wanted to test that. So I know this side is going to be the solution. Any of these numbers in here and all those ones in between are going to be solutions to this inequality. Not including negative 8 thirds, but as close as you could possibly get to that negative 8 thirds. Um, can't even see it not touching that from this, from this graph. And now I want to write the algebraic solution from my graph. I can see that x has to be whatever I have here for my solutions. It's got to be greater than negative, x, negative 8 thirds. So I can write x is greater than, not equal to though, x has to be greater, and any of these values can be x, negative 8 thirds. And that's my algebraic solution.